what's good you guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new it is the coolest kid on the block your girl basana and you are tuned in with another video In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys my wash day routine. I haven't done a wash day routine in a long time. I'm pretty sure I was still in high school. My last wash day routine was like my senior year or something. So it's been three years, so I'm really excited to show you guys exactly how I achieve where I, not achieve because I don't show you this, but I'm going to be showing you how I make sure my hair is nice and clean. So yeah, make sure that you continue watching. Make sure you subscribe down below to make sure you are staying up to date with all our videos. You are liking this video. Follow my Instagram and uh, yeah, stay updated with me. I had braids in for four months. I got my braids done August 18th and it's December now. So I've had my braids in all semester. So to begin the process of how I wash my hair, I my first always start with a pre-poo which is oil and I use that to help detangle my hair before I get in the shower. I have high density hair. I have a lot of hair on my head. Um, so regardless short or long, like there's just a lot of hair on my head. So and I pre-poo before I get in the shower because if I don't do that, then my shower is longer. I have to detangle longer while I'm in there. The water's cold, like, you know what I'm saying? So before I get in the shower, I pre-poo and I usually use any kind of oil. This time I used the coconut oil, which I do show you guys. It was like mixed with almond oil, whatever, whatever. To give my hair moisture back from being in the braids for that long. So the main point of this wash day was to make sure my hair had moisture back in it because it was in braids for so long. So I pre-pooed, I detangled, so that way everything after that process is smooth sailing. The detangling process, the washing, all that. It's smooth sailing because um, I did tangle before. And then another thing that I don't always do, um, but I did do in this video, is I did an Aztec Healing Clay mask. And if you do not know what that is, Aztec Healing Clay is a mask that you put on your hair and it has a lot of benefits you put it on your face and that's usually what i use it on i do use it on my face but i did do an aztec healing clay mask because my hair was in braids for so long so i need that moisture back i need that life back the benefits of aztec healing clay mask include it is highly nourishing and moisturizing leaving your hair hydrated and shiny and then it also clarifies your hair it removes product buildup it detoxes your strands and it revamps your dry dull, cur dull curls. So I put that on my hair because I knew it would clarify it um, because it was braced for long so I needed or I felt like I needed that extra clarify. Um, and one thing that I would say with Aztec Healing Clay Mask is make sure that you wash it thoroughly out because if you've ever used it, it gets really, really hard. So it was kind of stuck on my roots and I haven't used it in a long time. So a little bit is still on my roots. So don't be like me, but you know, wash it up as thoroughly as you can. But um, yeah, it's really good. Okay guys, so I just finished putting all of the clay in my hair. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna leave this on for 45 minutes to an hour. You can leave it on for longer or less, depending on like how thick your hair is. Um, you can sleep in it. I don't. I don't think I've ever slept in it before, just because there's really no point. Like it gets what it needs to get done in the hour, 30, 45 minutes that you do it for. So yeah. So let's get into the actual wash day part of my routine. So the first thing, obviously, that I do when I wash my hair is I shampoo, and I usually shampoo about three times. But because I did the Aztec Healing Clay Mask, I only shampoo twice. Sometimes, if I'm not feeling it, then I only shampoo twice. But you know, two to three times is how many times that I shampoo. In this video, I use the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo. So it says it cleanses with rich lather and silky slip to pre-detangle thick curly type for hair. I shampoo my hair in twists or I do it in braids, really loose braids though because you know if you braid your hair too tight then the shampoo isn't really getting through all your hair strands. So that's why I usually do twists because it gets through all my hair strands. I would recommend in washing your hair in twists and in sections. It keeps it out your way so it keeps it from being tangled and it just makes it so much easier because it's really not in your face. I also finger detangle when I'm rinsing the shampoo out. I finger detangle on every part of whenever I'm in the shower. So when I'm out and I'm styling, I know that there's no tangles in my hair. So that was my first time using the Mio Organic Shampoo. I've never used Mio Organics and I actually, they have their, they had their $6 sale going on, which they do quite frequently. Um, so I bought the whole line 
during your sale so that should be getting here soon but i did like that shampoo it was very moisturizing it was really soft in my hair it felt really nice when i was shampooing um so i actually really did like it usually though i use um the shampoo so i use the ogx tea tree mint shampoo um and i usually use that shampoo because it's the tea tree and peppermint or whatever so it look really feels nice in my hair but i did see somewhere that they have this ingredient in there that makes your hair fall out or something so um that's why i was like mm, no so the next thing that i do is i condition obviously so i use the Ozzy Moist Conditioner. I've been using Ozzy Moist Conditioner um, forever now, ever since high school. I've been using Ozzy Moist for a long time. And I think I bought the Mio Conditioner, but I usually don't switch up from Ozzy Moist because it works really good. The slip on it is amazing. Like, I used to use Cantu. I used to use Cantu heavily, and I now when I switched over to different conditioners the Cantu one used to really just knock my hair it had no slip whenever I used to watch hair videos I didn't know what they were talking about when they were talking about slip like what is slip so slip is just basically how lubricated a product makes your hair feel after applying so the Aussie Moist has great slip like and so does that shampoo the, the Miel shampoo has really good slip too. so the next thing that I do is I deep condition and you should be deep conditioning your hair I'm pretty sure every wash day um i don't do that so i um don't do it as often as i should but i really need to make it a part of my priority to deep condition every week or deep condition every two weeks depending on your hair um that's definitely something that you learn as you go but yeah so the deep conditioner that i used in this video was this it is the African Pride Moisture Miracle Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soft the Heat Activated Mask um, for Natural Coils and Curls. So I don't usually always use this. I just bought it because I think well, I bought it one time because it was it wasn't that expensive. But the price was almost like eight dollars. Um, but I used to use the Eden um, one, or I use. I use Eden or I use Texture ID. Those are really, really good. They're really thick. I love using really, really thick products because it really gets into my hair. My hair is not those little soft, little milky, the soft products. No, my hair is eating that up and it's spitting it out, okay? Because it's not holding it. Like, that is a really good deep conditioner, too, though. Um, my hair likes it. Like, it's, you know, it's good. Um, I would recommend sitting under, under the dryer with it, though. I didn't do that because I didn't really feel like doing all that. And I did the um acid healing clay mask. Like, girl, I'm not feeling like doing none of that. So, um, but I usually do tell me to dry when I do deep conditioner. But I didn't feel like it this day. I'm sorry. So the benefits of deep conditioner is it strengthens hair and promotes elasticity. It reduces split ends. Um, and it tackles moisture loss and luster lust. So if you're experiencing a lot of breakage. So here's the thing, if you're experiencing breakage, then offer if your hair is dry because your hair is going to break if it doesn't have any moisture in it. If it has a lot of moisture and it's pretty moisturized, your hair is not going to break as often. So if you're experiencing breakage, then you probably need to add some moisture to your hair or you need protein. So I would decide which one works for you. Protein is one of those things that you don't need as often, but moisture, your hair needs it frequently. It needs it every day basically so if your hair is breaking if it's dry if it's brittle you need to add some moisture you need water you need deep conditioning you need leave-in conditioning you need some moisture you need to figure out what works for you because your hair is not moisturized and if your hair is not moisturized then your hair is going to break off and if your hair is breaking off then your hair is not going to grow so you need to make sure that you're moisturizing your deep conditioning you're taking that time granted i'm someone calling the kettle black basically because i don't deep condition as much as i should but i do do it and also if your hair is heat damaged or is damaged in general you're going to experience breakage because it's not going to hold as much moisture and your hair is not going to grow and it's just a whole cycle and then obviously after i wash my hair i style my hair so this is a braid out 
that I do on my hair. If you guys would like to see this video, you like to see what products I use after I wash my hair, then make sure you like this video and you will see that video soon. That is the end of this video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my washing routine. If you want to see my review on Mio Organics, then stay tuned for that video because I should be getting all my products soon and I will obviously be washing my hair pretty soon. And yeah, so stay tuned for that video. If you guys do want to see a braid out routine, um, how I achieve this wonderful braid out that I love to do, um, then you know, of course, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video so that you can see that video as well. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm glad that you guys watched this video this far to the end. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.